Hello and welcome back to the channel. This right here is an Enfield Pattern 1859 smooth bore percussion musket. Uh, this is uh, an antique, an antique muzzle loader, and in Ireland it doesn't require a, a license. And it's an antique muzzle loader. Um, unless you intend shooting it, if you intend shooting it, then you do need to get a license. But as uh, black powder is almost impossible to come across, uh, I've no intention of ever shooting this. Besides that, I am not entirely sure that it's even safe to shoot. Uh, I came across this in a uh, an antique shop. Uh, it was already it was broken at the stock when I got it, and for love nor money could I find anybody willing to take on the restoration or even a decent repair so it's a really really bad repair I don't need anybody pointing it out in the comments I'm fully aware of the fact this is a shitty repair but however it is still a repair and the stock is now eh, solid for the most part um, now the difference between this and say a pattern um, 1853 uh, three band Enfield is besides the fact that it is smooth bore, there are no rifling there, and it has no graduated sights. Very, very simple rear sight, front notch, which kind of doubles as the, as the bayonet latch. All right. Some to, to take the bane out. These came into being after the uh, the Indian Mutiny of, of 1857 1858 when uh, the British colonial powers decided to um, have their colonial troops armed one step backwards. So, whatever was in service with the, with the standard British military, uh, with the British Army, or even the East Indian Army, uh, the British East India Company Army. Uh, which would have been 1853 rifled muskets at that point. Um, the Indian or native troops would have been armed with just smooth bore muskets. So that's uh, that's why these came into being. Um, the regular mar tower markings that you might find on the lock plate of a, a regular uh, pattern 1853 or anything else, an 1861 or anything like that, are noticeably absent from this lock plate there's actually no markings whatsoever on the lock plate um there are no marking well there are some acceptance markings here uh, on the breech end and that's it as far as markings go and this bad boy um beyond that i don't really have much to tell you um I haven't shot this as like I said I don't we don't have black powder and I I don't know of, of any um firearms dealer in the state who's who would sell black powder and I'm not convinced that my uh, local superintendent or chief superintendent would even license me to have black powder so instead of uh, going to all that trouble for for me which would be very uh, very little reward cuz this is yeah, it'd be nice to shoot it, but I'm not gonna. It's not, you know, it's not gonna break my heart if I don't shoot it. Um, I have plenty of other things to, to, to shoot. So uh, it's 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 a nice piece of history. It's nice to have in the collection, and it's definitely interesting to talk about. So I thought I'd break this out, um, have a yap about it on the channel, and bring it to y'all attention because you you do see eighteen fifty three muskets. There's quite a lot of of um of youtube content about the 1853 muskets and the 1842 percussion smooth bore which would have been the predecessor and the 1851 uh, full bore rifled muskets uh very very little content about these bad boys the 1859 smooth bore and uh, indian indian muskets so uh there we go i'm gonna leave it at that Thank you very much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Any comments you have, please leave them down in the, in the comments below. Thank you. Good day.